Hi, Joseph Clay here with my Royal Ascot uh, racing tips for 2022, the first day. This podcast is sponsored by Bloodstock Evaluator. If you like to learn more about Bloodstock Evaluator and their, all the different nicking tools, if you're a thoroughbred breeder or a punter, and just want to know about more about pedigrees and the different influences of the thoroughbred breed, go to bloodstockevaluator.com. So we're starting off um, the first day. We, what we utilize, uh, if you've not watched our podcast before, we utilize a certain tool uh, from Bloodstock Evaluator, the Voyer um, dosage tool um, that has, um, that measures the six foundation sires of the thoroughbred. And that the theory is that, that these six sire influences all have a different influence, like hermit is turn of foot. And so there's an algorithm and you, and it has a score. And so the score kind of paints a pattern of the horse's pedigree. And we pick out sort of more unexposed races. So we've picked out the Coventry Stakes today, the 305, and the 340 uh, King Stand Stakes. Um, <clears throat> we have three <clears throat> longer price. So we're going to give you three horses that we feel like that will be in the frame um, and back him each way and you have a better chance of getting in the frame because uh, they are very competitive. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with the 305 Coventry and we have picked a horse um, that won Novice Stakes at Goodwood. Uh, it's trained by Paul and Oliver Cole. He won by five lengths. Uh, he's going to be uh, ridden by Jim Crowley, uh, who rode him last time, and he's going to be riding him <clears throat> on the day. Um, this horse has a really fast profile. I know the Aiden O'Brien runners have, uh, are on the top of the market. And they're nice horses, uh, but they tend to have more of a stamina-oriented pedigree And if you look at their dosage profile. And we feel like that these horses are going to be faster on the day. Um, we feel like that Paul and Oliver Cole has um, a really good profile, a fast profile. He's by Glenn Eagles out of an enroll. Uh, is the, the mayor, and he has a good turn of foot, um, high striding ability, high bend or speed, and a certain amount of stamina. He'll be able to get the five furlongs, or sorry, six furlongs uh, distance. We've picked another horse as well, uh, Persian f uh, Four, uh, by trained by... Uh, Richard Hannon and this horse as well has a really good profile um, Speed profile, but can certainly handle the six furlongs He's six to one. He's at the top of the market and another horse that uh, trained by um, Richard Fahey and Richard every year he he does well at these races. He's 20 to one uh, He won by two and a quarter lengths the last time I feel, you know, these horses all have a potential, that's why we like to do kind of um, a tri-cast and box them and then pick a couple of them and do each way because they are so, you're getting these longer prices. I do feel like that the Aiden O'Brien uh, runners are, um, they're, they're overpriced, um, sort of very low odds and uh, it's it's more value to go for some of the horses that have a better profile in my opinion <clears throat> um, so we have Royal Scotsman to win Persian um, for to place and rousing encore to place um, going on to the King Stan stakes so another uh, speed profile we're going to go for um, uh, 
Her Majesty the Queen's Horse, uh, King's Lynn, trained by Andrew Balding. He won just last time out a group two um, in good time, 14 to one. Uh, we're going to throw out Golden Pal, uh, the American horse, trained by Wesley Ward. feel like he will make the running of the race, but he just, that last furlong, he, he you know, he, he might place, you know, I feel like he could be in the, the bottom frame of a tri-cast. And then we have the uh, nature strip, uh, the Australian uh, sprinter. He has great profile, loads of turn of foot, stamina. And they wouldn't be bringing him over here uh, if they didn't think they had a really good shot. And they do very well. So I have him, and he's really the, the, the favorite, but I, I'm kind of even going to, I feel like it's worth a shot at 14 to 1 uh, long odds with King's Lynn. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we have in the 340 King's Stand stakes, um, King's Lynn to win over uh, the favorite uh, nature trip, strip, sorry, to uh, place in the King's Stand stakes. Thanks for watching our podcast, and we'll be uh, tipping out this week. Uh, we've done pretty good over the years. This is kind of our best meeting uh, in England. So uh, thanks for watching our podcast, and we'll be in touch for the whole week. Thank you.